SMU has won the first two games of this college football season. Mustangs beat North Texas last night with tight end Grant Calcaterra contributing, hauling in a touchdown reception. Yeah, Grant has one of the really interesting comeback stories of the season. There was a time not that long ago that he was not sure if his career may or may not be over. Fox 4's Jeff Kolb has that story. Everybody loves a good comeback, and to SMU tight end Grant Calcaterra, his comeback story doesn't come with a ceiling. I believe that I still am one of the better guys in my position in college football. Lofts it for Calcaterra again. He pulls it in. I want to play in the NFL, and I want to be you know, the best in my position. But Calcaterra's comeback is more complicated than most, a return to a sport he'd given up in November of 2019, when at the age of 20, he announced his retirement from the Oklahoma Sooners and the game of football because of multiple concussions. Over a month ago, I received a concussion in practice. What most of you may not know is that I've had my fair share of concussions in my career. I spent countless hours visiting with OU medical professionals and specialists around the country. Ultimately, we came to the conclusion that it would be best for me to step away from the game. Did you ever really feel like you were 100% done with football? Yeah, I did. I, I fully um, was content with my decision to step away, and I never uh, thought that I would come back and play. In August of 2020, Grant was on the brink of a new journey to become a firefighter in his home state of California. He accepted a job as an EMT with an ambulance company, but on the eve of his first day of work, Calcaterra realized he had unfinished business on the football field. It just kind of came down to, you know, I never wanted to, you know, have it be five years down the road and always wonder, you know, what if. So he returned to the game and decided to do it at a new school, ultimately picking the Mustangs after getting clearance from multiple doctors, including medical staff at SMU, he was back in action. I've been in this violent game my whole life and you know, I expect to get hit again. Um, you know, and I'm okay with those, with those consequences. As for how many concussions Grant has had, he doesn't have a count. He knows he sustained at least a few at Oklahoma and that there's no way to fully eliminate the risk of getting another one playing football here at SMU. If that happens though, Grant hopes that some specific training he's incorporated into his routine will lessen the severity and the impact it has on his health. There's a bunch of different exercises that basically make you dizzy and uh, with the hopes that, you know, if you do them a lot, I mean, you'll, you'll kind of have a, um, a positive response to, to being in situations like that. Calcaterra wasted no time sprinting across the middle of the field in SMU's season opener to catch the Mustangs' first touchdown of the season, a strike from quarterback Tanner Mordecai, another former Sooner. For Grant, his first touchdown grab in 1,009 days. Really uh, exhilarating. I mean, it was just so much um, that I'd been through, and it was just, I mean, I put a lot of time and effort into it and experienced a lot, and I just kind of, you know, let it all out. Grant's comeback may not make sense to some, but it's the only thing that makes sense to him. And whatever chapters come next, SMU's new tight end is at peace with choosing to see his football story play out. I just have an extreme passion for the game, and I know, you know, just like a knee injury, it's going to have an effect on me later uh, down the road. And, you know, I, I just love playing football, and I'm going to give it my best shot and kind of deal with what happens later. At SMU, I'm Jeff Kolb, Fox 4 Sports.